The Edmonton Oilers have the NHL's best power play, well ahead of the St. Louis Blues, who play second on that list. A third of their goals have come with the man advantage. Compare that to, say, the Florida Panthers and the Washington Capitals, two of the league's top teams. Each of those Eastern squads are scoring at about an 18% rate on the power play. Considering that, and considering the Oilers' goal differential during 5-on-5 five five play, coupled with which players are more culpable than others when it comes to being on the ice for even strength goals against, and it becomes clear the Oilers have some work to do to improve their play 5-on-5. Five five. The worrisome thing, I think, is they're still feeding off the power play and killing lots of penalties, but when they're playing 5-on-5, five five, they're very average. They're just the middle of the pack team, and that has to change. You know, if you're going to go far, you're going to eventually have to to do better five on five when most of the game is, you know, at least fifty, you know, forty five to fifty minutes of the game is played five on five. So that has to get better. You know, that's not that's pretty pedestrian. They also give up way too many shots, and while shots sometimes are not a total the total end all and be all because some you know. Sometimes the shots are from outside the face-off circle. That's still an awful lot of shots every game. The law of averages suggests if you get 35 shots a game, at least seven, eight of them are, maybe 10 of them are going to be really good chances to score. So that's too many shots. The, 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 the owners don't have very many games this year where you could say at the end of the night, yeah, we had 32 and the other team only had 20. Just hasn't been any of those sort of games where... You know, they just absolutely shut it down and gave the goalie a, you know, a nice night. A team like Carolina, it gives up six fewer shots a game than the Oilers. They have about the same number of shots, but they give up 28 a game. The Oilers give up 34. So if six shots in a game, some of those might not be good ones, but out of, out of those six, there might be two really good chances to score a goal. And they've scored about the same number of goals, but they give up way less.